We're starting with Fox 43's Daniel Miller. She is live in Erie, which was in the eclipse's direct path of totality. Hey there, Evan. Yeah, I'm here live at Perry Square. This is in downtown Erie. And just what, 30 minutes ago, this place was a buzz. This was packed with hundreds of people here to experience totality. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. The atmosphere completely changed. We had skies that got incredibly dark. We had temperatures. I had some uh, folks from over at NASA tell me that it dropped 15 degrees between what we were experiencing before the eclipse to when we were in the peak of totality. So there were chills uh, on our arms. The atmosphere was electric. Everyone was cheering and, uh, you know, screaming in awe of that total solar eclipse. Of course, the only time you can see the outer parts of the sun's atmosphere or the corona sphere is during totality. And that's when we were able to take our glasses off. We were able to safely look up and see that experience. There were even planets on either side of the sun. Now we are still in a partial eclipse, so I still have my glasses handy as I'm keeping an eye on things here. Uh, of course, we are going to have much more reaction from here at Erie coming up a little bit later on in the shows, but I'll send it back to you guys. And Brayden, I'll tell you, we were very nervous this morning. It was oh, yeah. raining, it was cloudy, but everything cleared up for us here in Erie. We had just enough time here not only in Erie, also in South Central Pennsylvania to see some beautiful shots there for sure. Yeah, and I wanted to ask Danielle real quick. Uh, she's still there that uh, I, I saw a big smile. I heard a lot of joy yeah. in her voice. Uh, uh, talk about how you feel having witnessed that, that a lot of folks drove a lot of distances to come see. Oh my goodness, Evan, we had people here from Spain that were here to just see totality. I personally got to see an eclipse in 2017 and I saw it at 98% totality. Today, seeing it 100%, let me tell you, it was a world of a difference. The entire atmosphere was different. The uh, Just the magnitude that it got dark and cold, I, I wasn't expecting it to be that extreme. So I definitely say if you're here in 2040, 2044, it is completely worth it because I had chills. Maybe Maybe I'm a, just a scientist who is nerding out today, but it, it was really cool. All right, good stuff. We're going to check back with you later in an hour. And again, at 5 o'clock, Daniel, thank you so much. Live in Erie. And, uh, yeah.